So, quick stop in Hope. Food, gas, Dollarama. And now we're heading up the Coke. Found a couple of wreck sites. We're gonna check out. Hopefully they're not snowed out, but I think we'll be all right uh, for the first one. And then we'll check out the other few over the next couple of days. So uh, we're leaving Hope. Heading uh, towards Merritt, I guess. Well, we made the turn off onto heading up to this Gillis Lake Rock site. Now we just don't know how much snow there's going to be. It's coming over the summit of Coquihalla. There's still a shit ton of snow up here. There's snow in the bush right now. I think there's going to be snow when we get there. Well, didn't take long. We're only a couple kilometers from the lake, but uh, yeah, I'm not going up a single track in the ambulance in my house and risking getting all stuck in there. So uh, plan B is uh, figure something else out. Can't say I've ever driven under the Coquihalla Highway. We uh, turned, turned around and now we're heading for a lake called Boss Lake, which is up the Kane Valley Valley Road. Uh, it looks like a really interesting road, so we're going to... I have it marked out on the maps as well. So uh, there's a whole bunch of lakes up in this area. If we don't get snowed out, uh, we could spend quite a, quite a long time up in this area, I think. Well, we finally made it to a site. Um, we're snow-covered roads. It wasn't too bad. Chris was freaking out a little bit. But <laughs> I got to this lake. Uh, Boss... I can't remember what this one's called. Davies Lake, I believe. Um, um, yeah, in the middle of nowhere, really. It's really cool. But uh, thought maybe when we get here, I might be able to do a little fishing and stuff. But um, I'll show you. so the lake's frozen. So um, there won't be no boating or fishing activities here. So the next best thing to do is, well, have a shower, of course. Probably ugly. Well, Kristen, are you enjoying the frozen lake tour? Yeah, yeah so much for no uh, winter, hey? For a couple of people, yeah, who wanted to escape winter, um, we've, we're staying in it as long as we can, apparently. But <laughs> all the beautiful places are Up in the mountains. mountains. It's super peaceful here. I think we're just going to hit every BC rec site until it gets busy because BC rec sites are in some pretty nice places and uh, then you see the surrounding area as well so I think we'll just keep doing them until probably April May until season picks up and you start seeing people but other than that yeah it's pretty good eh been officially one week on the road one week here we are Being at uh, Frozen Lake, uh, we had dinner. It was really good, but we packed up. Um, <clears throat> I don't have much firewood, so too late to go gathering. So we're just gonna call it a night. We're gonna go inside, but I did meet a guy who's across the lake. There's another small group way ways down. He came up on his in his quad, and uh, he says he's got tons of firewood. He's more than happy to give me some. So I'll go see him tomorrow. I'm on a fire tomorrow, but. For now, we're gonna diesel heaters on, go in. Probably gonna have to watch Star Trek. We'll see, I bet you she wants to watch Star Trek. So here we are, all snug as a bug. <laughs> in bed. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, it was a cold, adventurous day. We had a good time, right? Yeah. Exploring, yeah. doing stuff. Um, but what, 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 what are we doing now, hon? <laughs> Huh? Are we gonna go see our friends? Yeah. And, and who might that be? Janeway. And where does Janeway live? <laughs> On Voyager. Star Trek. <laughs> Living the dream, baby! Oh.